good morning, good afternoon to the entire worldwide. This is Liberia motivated slash reality. We are here somewhere at the playground, as you see right there. And we came here to sit here and have some cool air. And sometimes when you sit somewhere quiet, you you want to actually, you know, elaborate on things that uh, people find pleasure in it and at the end they turn into their their wolf or like a snake that running behind them or like a dragon you know as a human being you have to stay with in the range of what you believe In that process, we have, in the English world, we have what we call the code of conduct. If you go to school and you were taught about code of conduct, policies, rules and regulations of organization or society that you, that you work with, and it was stated to you and it was read to you and you know it very well it is that code of conduct and policy that gave you the integrity or the whole the integrity of the organization but when you see it and and defy it and you say you want to bring another thing into the system. Do you grab me one? I'm not doing a recording yet, please. <laughs> so, if you see it and you try to overlook it and want to bring new thing in the system, then it will turn out to be a dirty work or it will turn out to be mockery to your society or to your to your organization. So sometimes we really have to know what we're doing as an educator when we try to learn learn our book, go to school, and do what we want to do. We have to do ourselves a due diligence to know actually what we are involved in it doesn't matter if you change your location or your locality let's say look by any other means so what am I telling to here is about our African leaders that go to school in the United States and they inquire all the education that they should have and they went back home and they found themselves in a new society and if they found themselves in a new society and among new gangs I can say new gang for them to stay with their quality of life, what they believe in, the greed of money make them to what? To change their what? Their belief, their lifestyle, or what they have learned over five to six years, the integrity that they have. They can, they, they, they can sell it cheap because of money. So, what happened? People begin to what? Dedicate their education or 
do not respect them anymore. And what I'm saying today, many, many, many countries in Africa, around the world, even some part of America, people adapt those systems so quickly that can totally degrade their they have 15, 16, 10 years, 20 years of hard education that they earn and that integrity can be what? Lose within a second because of the greed of money. Some of these things can easily be Number one, money greed. Number one, power. They want to get power. Number two, they want to be able to work. In the other world, they say, I want to fit in the society. And they have a slang that say, if you go to Rome, you should be like the, Ro like the Romans. <laughs> no. That, I don't know. Who got that quote from the Bible or whatever they got it from? That might be a very wrong quote. If you want, if you go to Rome, I like the, like the Roman or I like the the the, 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 the Romans. And these are things that people, you know, acquire. You know, people that have achieved good education, people that have, you know, what you know, good corpor uh, corporations and with good integrity but when they go back to africa when they enter africa they turn into another what? dragon or wolf within the society and these are the background that we are that we are trying to tell you people it's because people do not believe in themselves you can even learn the higher education, if you don't believe in yourself, you sell your education cheap. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I want this video to stay on the YouTube as YouTube will exist for a decade to go. If some of you go on the YouTube and watch this video, you must sense what I'm saying here today. People lose their integrity. People lose their, their dignity. People of high quality education. They have been they have been switched because of certain belief that they don't even grow into or they, they, they don't that they don't even know. And they just put themselves into it because they believe that the people tell them that if you come here. You have to be like this before you succeed. So that means you don't actually believe in yourself while you have learned or while you are implemented in the other country first and while you have been achieving. But your friend telling you, if you want to succeed in Africa, you have to adopt the system. In, in some of those systems that they adopt, it lead them to what? What we call quick death. You see that? Because you come from America and you have learned, you have your PhD, your master, and somebody taking you in a village, you know, to a, to, 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 to a, a ritual. You, you enter a swamp so that they can, you know, bathe you with blood or, you know, pronounce power on you. It seems to be like you are a fool. Because you already possess the power, your education, in your what? In your experience over the year that you are working in the United States, that you are doing everything to achieve. It's worth, it's, 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 it's the most power that you have, that you possess. But they don't believe that they have power based on their experience and their education and the place of work that they have been accommodated over a year but when they travel back to Africa they become what the follower of the devil 
You know, they become the father of other friends that they meet in a new society, in a new environment. So these are the things today that are damaging the life of young African educators and they have been they are losing their integrity. Some of them they turn her into a You See that if you look in the statistics of African Americans that came to America and learn and acquire good uh, uh, education, some of them they are what? They are loose their integrity. Some of them they are they are they are forgotten. Yet the, the code of conduct of, of, of policies and institutions that they bear when they were in this country, they have put everything away. They believe that they are enter a new society. So what? Uh, they adapt themselves into those society by engaging in ritualistic power by corruption, inflating people, taking the whole budget of the citizens that have to make good living for people, charity, organizations, and feed the community. They have become so bold in those things to take this money and put it in their cover. Because what? They don't believe in themselves. So, brothers and sisters, this is Liberia motivated slash realities. These are the basic fighters. These are the root cause that I want to tell Africans that do not believe in those African or, 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 or lead the African American leadership. I don't say when I'm talking about African American, I'm talking about the people that came from Africa and, and came here on immigrant or whatever. They came here for 25, 30 years ago and they come here, they learn and they work here. If you are if you people are trying to give them position in Africa or trying to to to, to actually make them to work in the system. We need to work. We need to work. We, we need to empower our work. our justice system to be strong, to take legal step against those people. Because that's the only way they will stay within their range.